in this video i'm going to show you how to set up tiktok pixel on our website through google tag manager if you are running ads campaign or want to run ads campaign on tiktok then you must have to set up tiktok pixel on your website as prerequisite first let me introduce myself i'm sultan an expert web analyst and a professional freelancer working on marketplaces like upwork and fiverr you can see I am a top rated talent on Upwork with 100% job success and a level 1 seller on Fiverr with 5 star ratings. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number or Gmail like you can see below the video. So let's start. This is my website. I'm gonna set up the TikTok pixel on this website and this is my Google Tag Manager that's connected with my website and this is the TikTok business center since i'm gonna show you the things from scratch so i have to create a pixel first of all i have to open events manager so i will hover the mouse on this three line and then we will get here events manager if you can't see events manager here you should click on all tools and then you have to pin events manager then it will get events manager here so if i click events manager it will direct me to a new tab of events manager i have already opened events manager here i have already created a pixel here you can see this is the pixel and this is the pixel id if you haven't any pixel yet you can click on this connect data source since we're going to set up the pixel on our website so we should choose here web and then next here we should enter our website domain because you know setup is different for every business it will scan our website and suggest us the best way of setup tiktok pixel so i'm going to my website to copy the website url and paste here and then next here you go it's saying us to choose data connection method we can see there are three options in the first time you should get only two options partner integrations and manual setup i have already said we will set up the pixel through google tag manager so we can choose from here partner integrations but i'm not gonna choose that because if i choose this one to connect pixel then it will publish my google tag manager setup if i have some modification on my google tag manager that i don't want to publish right now that will be also published if i choose this partner integrations so i will choose from here manual setup and then next here we can see it says to choose a manual connection method there are three options tiktok pixel plus events api and then tiktok pixel and then events api you can see this option pixel and api it will work for browser side data connection and server side data connection but TikTok pixel only work for browser side data connection and API only work for server side data connection. So we can say this is combination of these two options and it's recommended by TikTok. So I'm going to choose that and then next. Now we should name our pixel. I will name it according to my website domain. Okay, then create. Now it's giving us the base code of TikTok pixel and asking us to add the code to our website header section. Since we are going to set up the pixel with Google Tag Manager, so we don't need it. So I'm going to click on next. Here you go. Now it's saying to enable automatic advanced matching. So I'm going to check it and it's recommended. That means I allow TikTok pixel to track my customer's email and phone number. And then I will enable also automatic event setup and it's recommended by TikTok and then keep all of them as they are and then click on next. Now it's saying us to set up events and it's event builder. So we don't need it because we will set up the events through Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to click on next. Here you go. It's testing part. We can see two options. Option number one, 
test events directly since we haven't set up any events yet so we don't need this but the option number two use tiktok pixel helper plugin this is a very useful plugin we need it because it's a chrome extension we can install to verify and troubleshoot pixel installation so we need it and i have already installed this extension when you will complete the installation of this extension you will get this icon on the extension bar if you haven't installed yet you can click here to install the pixel helper since i have done that so i'm gonna click on the next now it's business funnel we can choose from here our business category it's e-commerce now tiktok recommending us to create these events with these event parameters we will create all of them with google tag manager so we don't need it now i will show you the standard method of setup these events with google tag manager step by step so i'm gonna click on next here you go now it's the part of implementation events api as we have noted a while ago that the TikTok Pixel and TikTok Events API, they are different things. Pixel works for browser side only and Events API works for server side only. In this video, we will focus on setup TikTok Pixel only. In the next video, we will see how to set up Events API. So I'm gonna click on next its api testing part we will do that after complete the setup as you can see after setup you can test if events are configured correctly and being received by tiktok so i'm gonna click on finish here you can see this is the pixel and pixel id that we have created at the moment now i'm going to open the data sources this is our pixel and pixel id now i will open the pixel so i will click on the name of the pixel we can see on the overview no data received i will go to settings then scroll down we need from here tiktok pixel base code so i will click here view base code here you go this is the base code i will click here to copy it and open the google tag manager and then i will take a new tag then tag configuration in the beginning of the tiktok pixel setup i have to choose from here custom html and then paste here the tiktok base code here you go then i will set up the trigger click on triggering and i will choose from here all pages because i want to implement this code on all of the pages of our website and i will entitle the tag tiktok pixel base code And we should know here this base code tag is the page view event for tiktok pixel so i will save it now if i go to tags we can see here we have created a tag for tiktok pixel base code so now i will submit it so click on submit and i will name the version tiktok pixel base code then publish now it's time to test we should check if tiktok pixel base code alternatively we can say page view event is working properly so i will go to events manager and close this tab scroll up we can say here test events so i will click here we can see test browser events because the tiktok pixel only works for browser events step one we have to enter here our website url so i'm gonna copy again our website url and paste here it will give us a qr code so we should click here to generate it here you go this is the qr code now we should scan it and test the events in this stage we need a qr code scanner plugin or extension here you go this is the qr code it says once we scan the qr code our website will pop up we will interact with our website to see if the events are triggered correctly so in this step we need a qr code scanner plugin or extension i have already installed a qr code scanner here on my chrome browser if you haven't installed any qr code scanner 
please do that and then come here so i will click on this extension and choose from here current tab here you go this is the result of qr code so i'm gonna click here here you go tiktok test mode is connected here because we can see tiktok test id in our website url so i will interact with my website i will visit some pages now i will go to events manager we can see no events yet here so i will refresh this page after refreshing many times unfortunately we can't see any events here but if i open the test mode of the website we can see under the tiktok pixel helper extension a number if i click here we can see the page view event is tracking properly and it says one pixel found on the website and it's showing green signal that means it's working properly that means our pixel base code alternatively page view event is properly set up on our website but in the events manager in the test events tab for the first time it takes some time to appear data here so nothing to be worried if i interact with my website a bit longer then the data will must appear here so don't worry about it because on the website tiktok pixel helper extension is saying that the event is working properly so that's it in this video in the next video i will show you how to set up other events like view content at to cart begin checkout purchase and other events on our website i will show you that step by step and if you have any question feel free to write down in the comment box i will reply that as much as possible and I am a top rated professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork with 100% job success. You can read my clients feedback of their satisfaction in these accounts. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address like you can see also below the video. So that's it today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.